and uh, and go to the um, to the presentation we prepared. So, what we talk about when we talk about migration? When we talk about migration and and the uh, and the footage of uh, Garian Detention Center um, shows this um, or acceptance. But the last and most important question is how many of us and how many among the people we know can still say to be able to help those in need? How many of us and the people we know can identify with those asking for help? And I would like to start this evening uh, starting from our language. For example, from the etymological root of the Latin word os. The Latin word os, the Latin root os, generates at the same time the concept of enemy and generates the concept of hospitality. It means that the same etymological root generates the, the word hostis and the word hospes. So the guest and the enemy. And we I mean, we'll try together to answer some questions, but also to ask ourselves new questions, cross-referencing writers and philosophers and, and, and arriving in, in Libya and in other countries in the Mediterranean area, uh, such as Lebanon. But I would like to start from these bodies in the sea, because I think that these bodies and faces and ends impose questions on us. So they force us to ask ourselves if we can still say we are capable of hospitality and give real value to the lives we host. Because it's exactly precisely in our ability to make room for the other, any other that unexpectedly knocks on our door that depends our degree of civilization and the capacity to build a new sense of community, a new sense of community. And, and I think the times we are living deserve really a new sense of community. So we said that the same etymological root can generate two opposite feeling, rejection or community or sense of community. And it's always up to the people decide which side to take. So decide if us becomes a guest, or if it us becomes hostile. And the first, the main crucial question is how the strangers who knock on my door asking for hospitality is similar to me. And again, starting from the language from us and hostis and hospes. In the second century after Christ, Sextus Pompeius Festus describes the hostis as the one who was recognized with the same rights as the Roman people. And the Latin sentence was quaderant pari iure cum popolo romano. And to explain this, um, Sexus Pompeius Festus says that the, the, the verb ostire had the same meaning as the verb equare. But he was, he, she was, a person who is recognized as having rights that are ours, pari iure. So we saw that the stranger, um, we saw how the stranger hands over to us difficult, very difficult question. And, and one of the questions we have today is, and I think the main question is, does the life of the man who is asking for help have the same value as mine? European policies of recent years, um, while trying to contrast illegal migration, have instead, in my opinion, reaffirmed the issue of inequality. Considering those people just from the point of view of their biological life, but not of their biographical life. So, these lives were not lives to be known, but lives to be pushed back. The way we have to see the injustice they are living, the injustice they come from, 
So let's try again to use numbers. Around the world in, in, in 2019, so the year before the pandemic, uh, there were 1 billion and 200 million transnational trips. Following the, the, the beautiful metaphor of uh, Professor Stefan Allieri, uh, which wrote these numbers and, and the numbers on, on tourism in a beautiful book entitled uh, Migration, Let's Change Everything, uh, he wrote, if we consider 24 hour long the history of humanity, man was nomadic for 23 hours and settled for only one. So today, there is a piece of the world of which we are part two, which for example, takes five hours of flight to reach a country in Sub-Saharan Africa. And at the same time, there is another piece of the world that takes two years or perhaps more to cover the same distance in the opposite direction. There are many reasons behind this difference. And, uh, and one of the reasons we, I mean, for me as a journalist, we have difficulties in, in reaching people, in being empathic with people, is that in recent years, let's say uh, we can point to 2014, 2015, migration in, in Central Mediterranean has been politicized before being understood. And DZ has turned the phenomenon into a constant emergency. It has transformed a natural phenomenon, which is nomadism, the, the movement of people, the right to move of people into a crisis to be solved rather than managed. Now, Francesca, the question we have is, do you see contemporary attitudes to migrants as being similar to other tendencies in our society? Are attitudes to foreigners the tip of the iceberg, symptomatic of general social trends? Um, I, I, can, I can answer on, on the experience I have of, I mean, of my life, which is not interesting, but of my work. Um, and, and I think the attitude that journalism uh, is having in, in these in this years uh, shows that public opinion is pushed to have simple answer to complex questions and to answer with emotivity much more than with a structured opinion. And of course, it seems a football game, no more a public debate.